It's our story. Joan Headley, St. Louis, Missouri. When we talk about the fact that she reached out to anybody who had a who had a, a disability, that wasn't limited to the United States. It was to anyone who had polio, who was anywhere in, you know, in the world. So people would contact her and say, well, I know someone who has polio in, um, you know, in a different country, and she would uh, connect with them. But I think she also uh, was, a, was a firm believer in connecting people with each other so they could learn from each other. But I think she also then would naturally go out and look for solutions in other places, and that would, would naturally you know, expand to the whole world. So she would, um, you know, if there was a good idea in some other country, you know, like Sweden or Germany or, or wherever, she would go out and find that information and, and bring it in and would connect people from other countries who had disabilities to the people here in the United States. And she loved to travel. She and her husband loved to travel. And they would, they would make friends around the world you know, through the newsletter, and then they would travel and meet those people then face to face, which was part of what she loved to do as well. She just loved to learn. You know, she just loved new, new knowledge. She loved new information. And then she loved it when someone else benefited from it, and that made her the happiest. Because she was excited about if they got the information, became excited, and it benefited them, why that made her happy the second time. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.